Hi, this is Liam. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to track your stocks using Google Sheets. You will be able to see at a glance all the stocks you hold, as well as other vital information like the current prices and how much you've made or lost in terms of percentage and dollars. Let's get started. Start off by creating a new spreadsheet, then give it a name. Next, let's create the following column titles. Stocks, buy price, current price, share zone, total cost, gain or loss in percentage, and lastly, gain or loss in dollars. Now, hold down the command key if you are a Mac user, or the control key if you are using Windows, then left-click the B, C, E, and G cells. This will highlight the buy price, current price, total cost, and gain or loss in dollars columns. Then go to Format, select Numbers, and then Currency. Next, left-click the Gain or Lost in Percentage cell, then select Format, Numbers, then Percent. Now, click on the cell under Current Price, type in this formula and hit Enter. Go to the cell under Total Cost, type in this formula. Then go to the cell under Gain or Lost in Percentage, type in this formula. And lastly, go to the cell under Gain or Lost in Dollars, type in the following formula and hit Enter. Select the entire row from stock to gain or lost in dollars, then drag it down as much as you want. All the not available and other errors you see in the cells are normal, and we will get to that in a second. Let's recap what we've done so far. Say you've bought some Apple stocks, you would then enter its stock ticker, your buy price, and the number of shares you bought. Google Sheets will then show you the current Apple stock price, your total cost and your current gain or losses in dollars and percentage. At this stage, your stock tracker is basically functional. You can go on and fill the sheet up with other stocks you own. Now, let's get rid of all the error messages and make it a little bit more professionally looking. Click the first cell under current price, delete the existing formula, enter this new formula and then hit enter. Then select the cell, drag it down so the formula is being applied to all the other cells. Next, move to the cell under total cost, delete its existing formula, type in this new formula and hit enter. Then drag it down to apply the formula to other cells as well. Moving on, go to cell under gain or lost in percentage, delete the existing formula, paste in this new formula, hit enter and drag the cell to copy its formula to other cells. Lastly, go over to gain or lost in dollars, delete existing formula, paste in this new formula and drag the cell down too. So what we've done so far is this. When no stock ticker is entered, the cells will be empty instead of showing error messages. But when a stock ticker is entered, Google Sheets will show you its latest stock price. And when you enter the buy price and number of shares you own, it will then calculate and display your total cost as well as gain or losses in percentage and dollars. Now that we've got the error messages out of the way, let's make it a little bit more presentable. Command A twice to select all cells. If you are using Windows, use Control A instead. Then go to Format, Alternating Colors, and then choose the color theme you prefer. For this video, we'll just go with the default gray theme. And while we're at it, let's tweak the header's text and background so it stands out more. Changing the font type and size, and adjust the cell spacing a little would be nice too. Now, before we call it a day, Let's make some changes to the gain and loss cells so they display numbers in green color if we are making a profit, or red color if we are currently at a loss. Left-click the F cell so the entire column is highlighted, then click the title to deselect it from the rest. Select Format, Conditional Formatting. Under Format Rules, select Less Than from the drop-down, then enter 0. Then under Formatting Style, choose None for Background Color then choose Red Color for Font. Click Add Another Rule. This time, Select greater than. Enter zero as value. Choose none for background color. Then choose green as font color. Now, repeat all these steps again on all gain or lost in dollar cells so it will also display profits in green and losses in red. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. I'll see you in the next one. Till then.